Uh oh, the tree. No, someone go out there and protect the tree. Protect. Doing all right. We have zero uniforms left, so everybody's wearing basically tattered uniforms. But uh, I'm not feeling well. What are you gonna do about it? Al? Rest in peace, my guy. I'll need more canned goods as well. Hopefully we'll have a nice non-windy period. I haven't even gone to the point where it drained my bat. What's it called? Uh, my coal. It's nice. Okay. Let's turn this stuff off. Get back on that freaking tree, you goofy boys. got a nice long period of where we don't have to worry about energy and stuff I'm actually doing all right to be honest battery should be fully charged before then and during the drought these will produce double that's 18 power instead of the normal 12. oh wait no wait what oh during sunny days as well okay i thought it was just drought but no Mmm, love that for me. But then they're completely off during night time. Is what it is. Thank God we have enough. I've yet to see anybody get a medium educa education.
Fishing dock plus one. There you go. A fish for me. Do that one, P. There's some green on that tree. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Forty two, okay. In risk. Um Where can I yoink people from up oh, here, obviously. Leave this going. Yeah, I produce enough power to where I can actually have that running. Let's just see this. I want to see how much power we drain every day if I just leave everything on. You just grew up. Hey, a medium education. Look at you. Look at you. So proud. Minus. You can get some select places like these. This is pretty far away from to go get oxygen. Everywhere else, they're really close to houses, so it's fine. After like, what is it, five or six years in this game? Yeah, six years. They they all get tired of fish and potatoes. I sure as hell would. What's on the meal today? Fish, potatoes. What about tomorrow? Or oh, it's different. It's potatoes and fish. Okay. I and mean, then again, you can do potatoes like a million different ways, but. We don't have oil stuff to like fry them. Maybe I don't know if these people even have ovens in their shacks. Love shack, maybe love shack. And occasionally they mix it up with some canned fish. but fine. All right, it's two days of scavenging, boys and girls. 
What heroes do I really need? I'm not seeing too bad on most things. Um, I want to clear out the rest of this area. More people. Oh, and more people there. Ooh. Uh, I need housing for these people. Which is why I'm hoping this tree gets built soon. I don't know if we're going to reach the 13 mark before uh, the end of the thing. I died of old age of the plant house. That's no good. No, I know. House, please. As soon as it hits 80, it'll give me the oxygen bubble. 10,000. Yes, baby, so sexy. What do you want, game? Go for the wins. But you want a hospital? 1,000. Let's go for so cool. Is hospital just like the other one where it constantly has to be running? Hmm. Automatically turns the oxygen generators on. The
And since this is one of the more expensive buildings, it's probably going to drain a lot of power, so I do need to have it underneath a bubble. Especially if I have no man manual control over it. It's going to expand and cover these, eventually. Now, whoever maintained this tree won't get sick anymore. Got a metal spot. It's on the tree cover. Good. I can have the 10 patients. Excellent. And I don't really need you, do I? These houses covered though. them there yet. Anything I want to grab? Sure. Yes. No. The train's way too much. We'll take you. You can have a break. These are covered just in time. But nobody's living there? Uh, 
Ähm. I don't want to change these into big boy houses. There we go, they move into there. These houses top for better protection, comfort levels, stuff like fertility rates, and more babies. Like, oh, we got a nicer house. Let's pump out some babies. Ah, the first visitor to the new hospital. That's super far away. Always forget to turn this one on here. Must not gonna work there since yeah. Not much good anywhere else. Entering to late autumn. We're not going to hit that 13 mark, unfortunately. We're super close. So close. But, uh, nope. Well, unless it gives me, like, a quick, a little quickie challenge. It won't. Turn the cannery on. I guess not. Good job, Weaver. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten would trust. I'm afraid of the winds. Everybody is. I'm afraid of the winds. What of it? Yeah, I gotta remember I can just go here and take turn everything off. Turn everything off.
Drax fantastic. Hello. Welcome on in. We're doing well today. This game is fun, but it gets super hectic. Like, especially the more years we enter, the more stuff it keeps throwing at me. I'm doing alright, thanks. Yeah. Oh, we did make it. Oh, but the next confidence vote is 15. Really? Damn. Okay. Someone managed to get sick, so I need to quickly turn this back on. We got a five day frost period. So I gotta make sure that's fine. We should be able to survive that. I just need to make sure we have. Yeah, we get enough to scavenge during that period of time. It's also very heavy on this game to reallocate your you, your people during certain phases. Like during the frost times, you can't use your food production or water from rivers and stuff. So you take those workers off and you just run around scavenging like crazy. No need for all that. I want this back up and running. I don't need you yet. I want to get some more fish. Get some more cans. Actually, my stone levels look super low. Let's throw somebody in there into the mine. Yeah, only having 50 stone? Mm mm. Oh, good. We good there? Alright, turn that off again. Hopefully we have enough time to charge up my batteries before the next big storm. So for droughts and frost areas, you have to save up enough food and water. Already have that, already have that, cool. And for windy times, you have to have enough power because they d it doubles your power consumption because you need to re supply oxygen to everybody. Otherwise they suffocate and die. Which is why I'd love for my scavenging teams to find a uh, wind turbine schematic, which apparently you can only find out and about. Mm -mm -mm. So we did manage to hit 13. Oh, okay. Ow, how did we hit 13? This is slowly filling up since I built it. Thing bad about long frost is a period of time where my wind water turbines won't be operational. Let's see. Uh, do I have a five man team I can send off? The northern lands. Takes them three days, 16 hours to get there, and I need to make sure they have enough food so they can get back. I, I feel like that bug that's bugged out. Because on uh, the first plate, oh, someone died at the school, someone died at the coal mine. That's not great. Yeah, when I first started playing, I'm pretty sure I didn't need to give them food to get back again. Could be mistaken. Yeah, we got we used up half that time. We'll definitely fill up those two quotas. Good. Focus cooking delicious meals. You want a kitchen? Okay. I'm gonna turn. Yeah, start making French fries. Alrighty then. One potato. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, one potato, two french fries. Depending on how much they eat them. Now, do I want to attach it to this so it has oxygen? Probably should. Um need people to go build stuff. 
Where can I yoink from? That's a... Don't want to really take from my thing there. Could take from here. Temporarily, yeah. Missing bricks and gears. Can't take from here. I need to make sure there's enough food ready for when I need to send my people back. Though in all reality, once the drought hit, it hits, uh, kicks in, I just remove these people. So. Oh no, tree guy died. That's bad. You have to have someone maintaining the trees because they give free oxygen in that sphere. Anywho. As much as I'd like to continue playing, unfortunately that is where I'm going to call it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to hit that follow button. Otherwise, as per usual, everything I do gets uploaded to YouTube. Link in the chat right there. Uh, hmm. Let's see if someone I can send you boys and girls onto. Who's live at the moment? I am enjoying this game. Even though it gets super hectic, it's a, it's rough at times, but it's fun. That is for sure. Uh, oh, fine. I'm gonna send you guys over to the Monster Girl. She is a good friend of the channel and one of her mods as well, known over years. She is currently playing some Apex. She does a lot of shooters and she's actually rather good at them. So if you enjoy them, feel free to come along this raid. I'll be back tomorrow. Until then, 